still, you know, I, I've been very blessed to uh, have John Wildhack give me a call and say that I was one of the candidates for this opportunity. And you don't take anything for, gr for granted. I've never done. I always just put my head down and did the work and, and hope that, you know, one day that, you know, this day will come. And through the interviewing process, it was, a, it was hard. He, he, he put us through it. He put me through it and asked some tough questions. And not just once, one day, two days. It was a three-day uh, situation. Uh, we, he, we, they wanted to get it right, and I wanted to get it right. And so the last words he shared with me was that, you know, you didn't just get this job. You've earned this job and this opportunity to come back home and uh, work at your alma mater. So I'm humble and blessed, and I'm, I'm excited for the challenge ahead. Coach, who says you can't come back home, right? Man, come on, let's roll out that orange yeah. carpet and let's go, right? Come it on. It might, might take a day or two or 22 years, but, hey, who's counting? <laughs> By the way, when you walk in that building, though, and you look up and you see your name, you see your jersey, you're the only woman who's got the jersey up there, uh, I mean, you've really kind of come full circle, though, haven't you? I mean, it really is an amazing story. It took out me to glory, you know. I, I never, ever, ever played this game for accolades. I, I played this game, you know, for my God, my family, myself, and, and whoever I played for, which happened to be Syracuse, to get the, the residuals of, of that effort. And and I and, and those awards are great. My son came back and, and uh, with me as I received this honor to be the head coach. And, you know, this is a kid that doesn't show any emotions. And he said, Mama, I, I'm weak at the knees. I, I can't believe this day has mm -hmm. come. And so to have my family feel so prideful about this opportunity, it makes it really a, a, an amazing moment. But I never look at my, my accolades that I've done in the past and, 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 and feel like that got to inspire me and to say something different. My whole journey now in life is to work with young people and help them become what their dreams have been stored in their heads and, and make it a reality. But Felicia, there's this part where, I mean, you win 20 or more three times at Buffalo. You won 25 this year. You know what the NCAA tourney, uh, journey is like. You were an assistant at Syracuse after your playing days. Your, your coaching journey is admirable. So this, this just has to feel like this is the right thing for everybody, not just you. This is, this is just kind of the way it needs to be, I would think. You know, it is the right thing to do at this time. I, one thing that I, I've always done is taking jobs that, that needed my, my service. And, and most jobs that I've gotten have been broken. You know, Hofstra was in the need of a coach uh, that can help, you know, heal it. Uh, Indiana, I was a third coach in three years, and they need some restoration there. And uh, it wor worked for a little while. At the end, it didn't. But it was, it was, we served our purpose. So I think both of us got what we needed out of that, that situation. And then Buffalo was an opportunity that – you know, who pricks up a young a coach who was 6-21 and 21 there last year? Uh, a school that says, I want to give you an opportunity to interview, not necessarily get an opportunity to be our head coach. But they didn't realize that I've been out for three months, and I looked at those kids, and they needed my service, not necessarily as a coach, per se, on the basketball court, but a coach in life. And that was a, 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 a nice marriage, if you will. And uh, they, they, they needed me, I think, and I needed them because I needed to, to be whole again. And here at Syracuse, opportunities to come back home. I tried to get here a couple of times and it wasn't the right time, but God said delayed, not denied. And at this time, at this most brokenness, uh, I get this opportunity. And our goal is to, to, to heal these young ladies, to let them realize that they matter. And then uh, they put the ball in the air and, and they say jump ball, they bring officials. Uh, we're going to compete to win. Coach, yesterday we had Coach Mox on, who's the new head basketball coach at Virginia. Another school with great tradition, history, facilities, but going through some tough times. Uh, we've seen Syracuse in the Final Four as recently as six years ago. Uh, there's Not to say that there's parallels here, but there really are some parallels. These are two schools, new coaches that have the ability that when everything is right, it can really be right. So what's the first step for you putting it back together at Syracuse? Well, I can't go by uh, that name of Maka Gugwa. She's very, very important to me. She, uh, she's a young lady that played for me, and we work together, and I'm so proud of her. And, and if she can rebuild it, if anybody can rebuild it, it is her. She has the pedigree, and she has the formula, and I'm so proud of her. Um, what we're not going to do is try to take this thing into our tomorrows because we need to love today. These, this, this team has been broken for way too long. Uh, to, to really worry about our tomorrows. And so what we're going to do is day by day build it. 
And those who stay, those who work hard, those who believe, uh, they will be crowned champions, not necessarily just on the basketball court, but champions in life, because we don't just raise a, a banner. We raise young people to be phenomenal women, and that's our goal here. And that, that's my, my, my journey in life as I enter into my uh, mid-50s. Well, I want to tell you, it's big that a former Michigan State assistant would paraphrase a former Michigan football coach. So that's good. I like that. It shows oh. you're willing to walk. That shows you're willing to walk the bridge a little bit. Um, all right. Here's the here's the other piece about this. It's this is the advantage I think everybody in your situation has. Two two part here. One. You know your school because you're proud of your school. I've never met a Syracuse yes, grad that wasn't proud to go there. Well, they didn't have to play sports, but they're all proud to have been there. But here's the other thing you know. Felicia, you know this might have just been, and still in process, the best year ACC women's basketball has ever had. Yes. To that effect, how does that impact the job you've got ahead, too, knowing that this league might be, in some cases, if not the best, one of the three best leagues in the country. Oh, we're coming. We're coming. And uh, in every place I've gone, I said we're going to be the perennial whatever conference that is. Uh, no one really had a lot of respect for our my conference. And so what we decided to do is take two teams to the Sweet 16 at the same time. And we said, well, you're not going to give us respect. We're going to demand it. And now what my colleagues are doing such a great job in, in Louisville and what NC State did last night and uh, all the young the teams that's, that's, that's moving and shaking. I, I really am so proud to be a part of, of, of an a incredible group of colleagues that have such a pedigree for winning. And so what I hope that I do and my colleagues that's just entered into this conference is to just make it 1% better day by day. By the way, when John Waldhack called you to offer you the job officially, I, I mean, I, I know you talked about how this is so important, you coming home, but that, that had to be a, just a, a surreal moment too, wasn't it? Because John's one of our favorites. He's just a smart dude. He understands the business aspect of it. He understands the importance of college athletics and student athlete relationship and all that stuff. But that had to be an, an incredible phone call. It really was because, you know, you know he, he, I was with him when we raised the banner. You know, he's, uh, he, he's on, the, on the cutting edge, you know. It's 50 years of, uh, of women in sports here, and uh, he's, he's been here, I think, five years, and he's the one that saw women, saw them truly, and said that we deserve an opportunity. And he didn't just put one person in the rafters. He, he put two women in the rafters in, in his five-year tenure here so far. And I'm used to him being silly and fun and goofy and, and, and just, just a businessman that, that knows his stuff. But, boy, when I was in that interviewing process, that was a pit bull right there. And so don't look <laughs> at that little frame and think that he's just a nice guy. He, he's a, he, it's the reason why he's been successful at ESPN. It's the reason why uh, Syracuse has grown expeditiously since he's been here. He's a tough young man and a tough, tough man and our chancellor as well. And so I'm excited. I'm ex I know that when days get tough and I feel like I have no answers, I know when I go to John, I know that I'm going to get some real strong answers. And I know somebody that actually has, the, again, that word pedigree to help us move forward and help me overcome. All right. Uh, same question we asked Amaka yesterday. What's, uh, what's job one here? Staff, recruiting? Play around in the portal a little bit. How, do, how does the rebuild in uh, Central New York start? Uh, you got to start with you know staffing, and we're gonna we're working right now in the background to to, to figure out what staff we're gonna bring for sure. We're certainly uh, uh, talking to people about you know joining me on this journey, and mm -hmm. um, you know the, the the portal is um something that we're we're dabbling as well because as you can see there, this is a fluid thing where people are getting the portal from this team and and as people go, go on the portal i got to be able to go bring some more people in but one thing that we're we're going to do a little bit different <clears throat> i think that's been done here if you want to leave syracuse i think that I, there's no way i can stop you and so we're not going to put a lot of energy in that. We're going to wish you well and, and let them know that, you know, we're going to be tied for the rest of our lives because we're both uh, people that went to Syracuse and, and, and love this as an as a orange sister. But I have to continue to, to grow this program. They charged me with bringing a good product here. So we're going to build this with our character. We're going to build this with our academic strength. We're going to build this with understanding that 
If you want to play basketball, you want to go global and let everybody to know what that block S stands for, you're going to come to play for Syracuse because this is the place where basketball rules throughout the world. And it's, of course, Jim Beheim has the one, is the GOAT and created this atmosphere. But I think that they're going to see women, too, can become if the right person's in charge. And so I'm hoping that I'm the right person. We're excited about our cab approach. And we're going to, we're going to let people know that Syracuse University women's basketball is live and well. We touched Final Four before. We're going to do it again. We're just going to do it our way. Coach, before we let you go, uh, we've been asking all the coaches uh, this question the last couple months. And since this is your debut, this is perfect. We'll get the chance <laughs> to know a little bit more about you. Uh, what's your favorite walk-up song? What's the song that gets you juices flowing in the morning, man? Let's say it's whether it be game day or recruiting trail or whatever the case may be. What's the go-to? Well, well, our, our our new song is here. We are family. I got my <laughs> orange village in me. When I tell you we got that orange village, this thing right here, the orange village, you it's yeah. a sight to see. And we're yeah. coming to you, or we're gonna come through you, and uh, we're gonna do it with a smile. If you move out the way, it won't hurt you. But if you stay in the way, we got to come through anyway. I love it. All Listen, right. congratulations <laughs> on the new gig. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I humbly accept your, your kind words, and I'll see you soon.